So not every baby, as you just heard, can drink just any kind of formula. In fact, some formulas can be dangerous uh, for some babies, and that's complicating the shortage even further for millions of parents. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and that's why Amber Sanders kicked into gear. Only her desperate measure, uh, that's helping hundreds of other moms find the exact formula that they need for their babies. Amber started a Facebook group called Moms in Tennessee Looking for Formula. She needed formula for her own baby boy named Chevy, who was born in January. But now her group has over 400 members, mostly made up of moms, helping moms to feed each other's little ones. Here's how it works. If a mom is out there and sees a formula on one of those awful shelves, um, but it's not the one that she needs, she alerts the other moms in the group. Um, and because there's going to be someone in that group who does need that formula uh, that she has spotted. So basically, this is a formula network. Uh, Amber is with me now. Um, and I understand you've got Chevy with you as well. I wanted to I see do. your live picture and see. Oh, I'm so glad. I can't believe he's up. Is he sleeping or is he awake? Uh, a little bit of both. <laughs> With the glare of the Klieg lights, it's kind of hard. Well, listen, um, you know, I applaud you. I applaud you for what you're doing here. Are your moms in the Facebook group finding what they need together? Or are you also discovering that the supply is getting tighter and tighter even since you started the group? Well, most moms are able to find what they need. I know it is still getting, you know, worse and worse by the day, but Luckily, I've heard a lot of good things about the group so far. So it, it seems I'm, I'm only assuming, I mean, this wasn't your professional plan uh, to be running a, you know, a, a Facebook group for, for moms. I, I think your plan was to be feeding Chevy and, and, and raising Chevy at this early stage. He's not even four months yet. Uh, but does this surprise you that this is happening right here in America, first world country? Yes, definitely, especially with advances we are nowadays. I would never think a shortage of formula for a baby would happen. So talk to me a little bit about your group, 400. Is it growing all the time, and is it growing outside of Tennessee? Because we're, we're airing all over America right now, and I have a feeling some of the viewers will be saying, I want in. Right. Well, we do. I have a couple people from um, Kentucky at the moment that are, you know, accessible to Tennessee, like the southern parts of Kentucky. So, I mean, surrounding states are more than welcome to join in because, I mean, a lot of us moms are willing to travel. And have you heard of other states sort of taking your lead and saying, OK, Amber, we're going to do that, you know, for, say, Washington State or Nebraska? I actually have seen some other Facebook groups that are doing it in other states, and that's one reason I decided to do one for Tennessee, because I was finding the formula for him, but they were wanting an arm and a leg to ship it, or, you know, it was, you know, completely in another state, like up north, that I, I couldn't yeah. get to it. I have seen the offers to ship, uh, which is amazing. Just quickly, you know, when a mom sees, um, you know, a, a type of specialized formula on the shelf, and she doesn't need it, but alerts the rest of the group, is it there long enough? Because I've seen women lining up outside stores to clean out whatever they have whenever they have it. Has there been a success rate in getting to it fast enough? I've actually seen some success stories on the group of moms posting it. And I mean, as soon as it hits the group, a lot of moms are on the lookout, get notifications for it, and they're on their way to the store to get it. All right. So tell me a little bit about uh, the different types, because, you know, we, we were talking to uh, the pediatrician mom right before this about the different kinds of formula out there. I'm just going to throw a few up on the screen because there are very specific varieties, and this is just some of them. Soy-based. Uh, there's formula for milk intolerance. There's formula for babies who were born premature. There's formula for babies with uh, digestion issues. But are you finding that some of your moms are just, um, because they can't find the specific one that their babies need, they're resorting to a switch to, to something else? I have seen quite a few moms doing that. Luckily, um, they try to stay within the same type of formula, just a different brand. Like, I know I'm having to do that with you. Okay, I want to put up a post from your, um, from your Facebook group. Uh, it's a, a woman who was posting uh, a couple of containers for $30, which is right around the price, if not cheap, uh, for posting these. And she said, you know, she wanted to just 
to ask anybody if they needed it. She would help to, to deal with shipping as well. And then there was this post that was so sweet, but it was heartbreaking. The little baby's picture's there, and the mom says, Hi, mamas, we're looking for sensitive formula of any brand except for blank. We blocked out the brand name. If you find any, please let me know. I will Venmo Apple Pay you if you're able to find it in a store. How often are they successful? They're pretty successful most of the time, but like the comments that I see that people are putting on there, they're like, I found it or I, you know, I had luck and I got to it in time. Well, you're um, an angel for having started this, and I know that there's at least 400 moms who would say the very same thing uh, right in your state and probably thousands more who are watching right now. So, uh, Amber Sanders, thank you so much. Appreciate it, and good luck. Good luck finding it for, for little Chevy. He's so sweet. He was so well-behaved. Well, thank you. I appreciate you having me on here to talk about it. You betcha. Good luck. Okay, Amber's Facebook group has uh, three important rules. No promotions or spam. Uh, respect members' privacy. And this might be the most important one. Uh, no hate speech or bullying. That last one's really important because, sadly, that's become a thing. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.